Hey guys, it's Crafts for Reborns here, also known as Near and Far Nursery. This is a Near and Far Nursery video. Um, I wanted to talk a little bit today about skin tone. I'm working on three babies at the same time, and they all have very different skin tones. And you would think that to create these three different skin tones that it's three totally different processes. And actually, the processes are processes are very, very similar. Um, and just, it's amazing how subtle changes um, will create different skin tones. So let's start over here with, um, this is Dearly. Um, Dearly is going to be a kind of a ghost baby. So she has a very, very, very pale skin tone. Now I do have to um, say before I get started that all three of these dolls actually I didn't do anything to the vinyl in terms of doing any color correction. And that the reason why is that they their kits kind of came the way I wanted them to become. So dearly here is um she's the Gracie kit and her vinyl was very very pale like a white like like a white color, which was awesome because I wanted to make her into kind of a ghost baby. So um I used to create that the skin tone that she has so far and these are all works in progress by the way they are not completed dolls so I used the miracle blend uh, basic base skin color which is very very fair remember miracle blend dries lighter than it actually is so I use this just straight up so far on her all I have done is uh, I've done her veins, I've done blue undertones, um, I've done uh, purple undertones, and I've done a yellow model. Um, so I've done all the cool colors, and I'm going to add the warmer colors very sparingly because I want her to have a very cool texture. So basically the two things I've done to achieve that skin tone are one, only use the base skin, and second of all, not doing any warming layers. Um, everything are cool colors. And then right next to her, I hope you can really see the difference. This is the Ashley Awake Realborn kit. She is a preemie, and I've just, I think you can see it better on the limbs. She came as a more orange kit, which was great because I really wanted to make her um, more of a realistic preemie and real preemies um, if anybody has seen a real preemie are very um, are very very warm um, and blotchy so um, with the with this kit I started out again the kit is more orange I don't know if you can really see it on the face that well if I move it over here I don't know She's a lot warmer on uh, in real life than she's appearing on camera, a lot more orangey. Um, but with her, I did a combination of the tan skin and the base skin, so a little darker complexion to begin with. And I, when I modeled her, um, I did everything in sort of an all-over light model, which is going to just basically be... A layer of skin tone and then I came back over with a much more blotchy model a stronger color I did less blending and it's not showing up on camera particularly well but because um, that's my goal I had a, a preemie baby once the mama's little monkey sculpt and who was very blotchy and newborn and I just love that doll. I really wish I hadn't parted with him because um, his painting was absolutely amazing. And then in between we've got Clara Fairy. Now Clara Fairy again her kit started out as a very light vinyl color which is great because her this is a custom order her um, mommy wanted her to have a very fair uh, pink skin tone. So she had the same uh, flesh layer as a little dearly here um, which was just the base skin no tan skin added uh, but she's had all the warming layers that uh, the little preemie has had so that's why if you look at her 
I hope this is coming out. She's um, warmer, more more alive looking. Um, she doesn't have this sort of death, deathly sort of look about her as my as little Durley does, my little ghost baby. Um, and they're all about the same point in the process where their flesh layer is nearly done and we're just going to add details. So once details are added, they're going to become even more um, distinct from each other. Um, yeah, so I hope this has kind of helped you to realize when you're doing your skin tone layers how uh, subtle differences uh, in the order that you make them um, the, the order that you put them in, um, whether you're doing warm or cool and what uh, color flesh you're using, and also working with the kit can uh, achieve different types of skin tones. Thanks for watching today to DFN. Ta-ta for now.